welcome back to my channel. Today I have a thrift flip home decor video for you and all the items are super, super cute. They turned out so amazing, but also they're so easy to DIY. So hopefully you're gonna like this video. And this video is sponsored by glassesusa.com. So basically, if you want to buy glasses online, they're a great company to be able to do that. You can get brand names, you can get more affordable house brands, so many different options there. So let me just tell you a little bit about how it works. Basically, you upload a picture, you take a picture of yourself, and then from there, they have this like virtual try-on tool so you can see how all the glasses on their website will look on you and that's super, super helpful because you can then pick the ones that you like. Once you do that, you can customize your lenses with so many options like blue light blocking, which is really good if you look at screens, UV protection, anti-scratch, stuff like that. You also can do like your basic polarized and mirror finishing for sunglasses. Then you go ahead and you provide your prescription. And if you don't have that, honestly, they have a really, really cool app. You scan your existing glasses through the camera on their app, and it will basically give you what the prescription is in a matter of like 10 to 15 minutes. That's super, super cool. There's free standard shipping on all orders. And then once it reaches you, you still have 14 days to decide if you like them. And if you're not happy at all, you can return it and get your money back or do an exchange or get a store credit. So they sent me over a couple pairs of glasses that I picked out and I just want to show you a couple of them just so you can get a better idea of the options that you have. So these ones are actually Ray-Bans and what's funny is I realized after I picked them out that I have two pairs of sunglasses that are this exact frame, just I don't have any eyeglasses like it. So clearly I'm a fan of this design. This is a pair of sunglasses that I picked out which I think are really, really cute. They are fashionable, they're comfortable and also they're polarized because I customized the lens with that. Okay, so this one is the studious look. I think they're really adorable as well, but this is definitely like me if I was a little bit more studious. And then finally, I got one more pair. These are kind of like the first Ray-Ban kind, but um, they are in gunmetal, so I think they're really, really cute too. But they have so many different options that you can pick from, and if you wanna check out any of the ones that I specifically ordered, I'll have all the links down below. I think these ones are my favorite, but I'm biased. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's get started with the first DIY thrift flip and I really really love it and I think you're gonna like it too. So you guys, when I was at the thrift store, I found the cutest little table and what's funny about it is that I almost completely missed it because there was this basket on top of it. I went over, picked up the basket, walked away and then I just happened to glance back and I was like, wait a second. I picked up the basket and didn't even realize it was on the cutest table ever that has so much thrift flip potential. So as I just mentioned, I'm checking out this super cute basket, not even realizing the table that it's on, but then boom, I see it, I take a closer look and it's only $11.99, so what a steal. Oh, and one last thing before I actually get started is that I shared at this thrift find over on my Instagram and I share all my thrift finds over there. So head on over to my Instagram, it's DIY Dahlia with an underscore at the end and you'll be looped in on all those little sneak peeks and hauls that I do. I started off by giving the dresser a proper cleaning with soap and water and then I decided I wanted to change the color of this table from that dark cream color to a soft off-white. I got this chalk paint by Folk Art in the color Sheepskin, which is just that perfect light shade that I'm going for and I used some foam brushes throughout this process. I gave the paint a quick stir and started applying it to the underside of the table and you can really see what a color difference it makes. So this is what it's looking like so far. It's definitely a really nice off-white chalk paint color. I can see that there's some streakiness. Hopefully you can see like in here. Also, like in here I can tell it's like quite streaky as well. I'm definitely gonna have to do another coat so I'll check back in with you when I'm doing that. So to apply the second coat, I just poured some paint directly onto the table and then I used a brush to spread it all out. I grabbed a second larger brush that was clean and I did some sweeping motions that were both vertical and horizontal with that brush. And that was basically to make sure that there wasn't any excess paint, but also to reinforce the existing texture of the table that has lines going in both directions. Next up, I decided to remove the wheels on the table by simply unscrewing them. They were super easy to remove. And just to give you a better look at the wheels, they're this brown kind of metallic color and they look very 60s or 70s and I just feel like they really date the whole table as well. Another thing I noticed is if you look at the bottom of the table you'll see these furniture tabs and so I think that the previous owners must have added on the wheels. 
But anyways, you guys, that was the final step and now my brand new thrift flipped table is complete. So I just love how that table turned out. It is literally perfection in my mind. I think it's so, so cute. And what's actually crazy is that I was searching for like arch tables, U-shaped tables, and I saw these tables from CB2 that are super expensive and it looks the exact same, like literally same texture, same shape, same everything. I'll insert a picture right now on the screen. So I can't believe that I found this. It's the exact aesthetic, obviously, that's popular right now. Um, so yeah, I'd say that's like a 10 out of 10 win. Next up, I have a bunch of different thrifted vases and candle holders where they are really, really unique shapes and that's why I bought them, but their finish on them is just not good. Now, on Instagram and on YouTube, I've been seeing this trend where people are mixing baking soda in with acrylic paint, applying that onto the piece, and then it turns into either a chalk paint, if you don't add very much baking soda, or it turns into more of like a pottery piece if you add more and more baking soda. Now, I wanted to see if you use different types of acrylic paint, whether the finish or the application will be a little bit different. So I got a bunch of different pieces, which you're gonna see in a second, and then I got a bunch of different types of acrylic paint, and I tested them out. My findings were really, really interesting, actually. So let's get started with transforming all these uniquely shaped pieces that I found. So off I went to the thrift store and I found all sorts of really unique shapes and sizes and finishes and here's just a couple of them that I picked up. So here's one more look at the vases and I'll be using three different types of paint on them. So the first type is a proper acrylic paint from Michaels that's meant for canvas. The second type is the multi-purpose acrylic paint also from Michaels but it's meant for crafts. And the third type is a craft paint and it's from Dollar Tree and of course we're going to be using baking soda. So to start off with a canvas paint I'm using this red ochre color and then I'm adding enough baking soda to it so that it becomes a thick and bubbly texture. I'm applying it with the foam brush and initially I actually brushed it on but then I decided to try this dabbing motion which created even more texture. After one coat, I waited for it to dry and then I went in with the second coat, although it was probably about 95% there with just the first coat. Next up, I'm using the same type of paint but in the color raw sienna and this time I'm applying it to the textured mini bud phase. I just went in with that dabbing motion once again and it covered it pretty well. I did a second coat and after that it was absolutely perfect. Now comes the candlestick holder and for that I'm going in with that same first premium canvas paint and I just mixed up those colors that I had to create a nude pink color and then I did go in and apply a second coat and after that with the brush stroke motion so not the dabbing this time it was good to go as well. Okay, so moving right along to the more premium multi-purpose craft acrylic paint from Michaels, and I'm mixing it once again with that baking soda. So for this, it was really poor coverage after the first coat, and even after the second coat, it still wasn't great. But then, after the third coat, it was looking just about perfect. And finally, I am using the Dollar Tree acrylic paint, and I'm adding in that baking soda once again. <laughs> I just want to show you that the like dotting motion totally doesn't work well with this dollar store paint. So with the other one, when I would do this dotting motion, it would just layer up and build on itself really well. But here it's just not really doing that and you're getting like really defined marks almost. I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the brush strokes. Hopefully that'll work a little bit better. So in total, I had to do four coats of this paint, but after that last coat, all of the vases were ready to go. So I love how all of those turned out. I think it's great that I created all these pieces that are perfectly matched to my apartment, but also look really good together and cohesive together. I think it's really cool that you can vary the technique by using the dabbing motion, which I haven't really seen many people do, but also you can do the strokes and that's like more of a smooth look. So I think all in all, it's a great, great technique. So in terms of the actual type of paint, in summary, I would say that the 
canvas paint from Michaels applied the best. It was by far the smoothest, the most pigmented. It was just great to work with. The multi-purpose acrylic paint from Michaels applied okay. You just needed a couple different coats on it and then from there it would work just fine. And then the acrylic paint from the dollar store, I'd say applied probably the worst, needed the most number of coats, was quite runny, but honestly it worked in the end. Without further ado, on to the next DIY, you guys. So when I was just about to walk out of the thrift store last time, I was walking past the toy section and my husband pointed at this toy set, which we've all seen and you'll see it in a second. It is one of the most popular child toys or toddler toys, baby toys. Um, and he said, I wonder what you could do with that. And then from there, I got inspired. <laughs> so let's just jump into this one and let's see what I turned this child's toy into. So this is the toy that I found and it's actually from Ikea. It's called the Moolah Bead Toy Roller Coaster and it's bright and it definitely doesn't look like decor as is. So I took it home and decided to disassemble it and what I was left with was three different shapes. I took the beads off of two of the shapes and added them all onto the third one so that that third one is fully stacked. And then from there, I grabbed a piece of wood that I had kicking around and marked off two little spots for the feet of the toy. I then took a large drill bit and drilled two holes next to each other. And then I kind of angled the drill so that it would connect the two holes and create one really long slot. I played around with the blocks until I got a design that I liked. I wanted it to be asymmetrical and pretty cute looking. And then I added some tape to mark off the beginning and end of each section. Next, I took out my trusty E6000 glue and I added it to the sections where the beads would go. And then I just slid the beads in place. To make sure that they wouldn't kind of move around and fall all over the place, I just used some painter's tape to secure them all together. After the glue dried, I removed the tape and now it's time to spray paint it. I went back and forth over whether to spray it all matte black, which I still think would look really cool, but I decided to go with gold and chalk ivory so that it would feel a little bit more light and airy. Now once everything was all spray painted, I added some painter's tape to the bottom of the holes at the base and then I put some E6000 glue in those holes and placed the feet inside. I really think that this piece looks super cute even in my space, but if you're a stylish mom, this would be insanely adorable in a kid's room as well. So let's take a look at the final product. truth you guys let me know down below which of these thrift flips was your favorite as usual I'm gonna share with you my little ranking so easily by far my absolute most favorite was the table I just think it's the exact vibe of everything I could want and if I went into a store I would buy it like that's how cute it is next to that would probably be all of those super cute vases and candlestick holders that I flipped I just love how all of them turned out I love all the colors all the textures and I can't wait to style them all around my home and then last but not least would be the child's toy turn statement piece which I think turned out so lovely as well so before I wrap things up I just want to ask if you can please check me out over on Instagram I'm at DIY Dahlia with an underscore at the end and I share lots of my thrift finds and my whole process overall on my Instagram so you will not want to miss out on that please also make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel so that I can keep growing over here as well if you like my glasses or any of the other ones that I showed you, all of them are going to be linked down below. So head on there and go off to the Glasses USA website. Thank you so much for watching until this point and until next time, you guys. Bye.